I'll leave it back to you guys. Whoa. Mr. Hooks. She's a serious hook, actually. Okay, we're in a beautiful Kai Tire. I don't know how all these videos are going to join together, but yesterday was um, a good day. A good, oh, it started off very dicey in the beginning. Lots of rain and wind. Very, very, very cold. Very little fish action. It was pretty disappointing at the start. God, there were so many times during the day where I was thinking, oh man, this isn't, I'm not going to pull this off at all. But uh, in the end, we stuck to the plan and it all actually fell into place and we actually managed to get a king, like, drop that live bait down and within like uh, 30 seconds to a minute, uh, smashed a king. It wasn't, wasn't a monster by any stretch and nowhere near as big as the one I saw on the first day, but still was cool to get one but uh the most disappointing part of the day was i got home and i looked at the footage and the chest camera because it was all wet and stuff I m it must have either clipped off or it dis I didn't record when i thought i was recording and then when i hit record i was actually meaning to turn it off so basically i just recorded nothing and i missed the whole fight and the fish luckily i had the front camera on it so there is some evidence of me actually catching a kingfish but where we're going today is we just stopped off to get a coffee and, and some food but we're heading up to Spirits Bay. It'll be a pretty nice um, place to sort of hit uh, and say I've been. I don't know how I'm gonna go fishing wise. I'm not sure if the swell and the wind is really ideal for what I'm gonna do. The swell's not too big, so it should be all right. But um, we'll just have to wait and see. I think I'd time the tides right as well. So we'll have a flick. We've got the new setup that I've been desperate to give a go, but you know, weather-wise, kayak-wise, everything wise surf wise it's just been uh hard to get those fishing trips in and make them productive so yeah we'll get up there hopefully this will all come together and i'll be able to get something off the rocks but i think the fishing trip will be short-lived but it's just going to be a cool thing to do anyway just to say i've been there and to know what i deal with next time if i ever get back here so so here they come look so we're going to get underway and oh they didn't get any food uh we'll have to stop at a pie shop anyway we'll head up and we'll see you on the trip uh I was just driving trying to eat this pie, but I just got to say something. These pies are delicious. What was it called? Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Blue Moon Cafe. And the little girl served it. She goes, oh, my papa makes them. This is like so good, this pie. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's huge. It's really, really good. Hey, all right. I'll try and get there without crafting and then just can you clip it, clip it. nicer around there. All right, I'll take off, but I'll be see you soon. All right, and we're on our way. We'll just get a bit up here, get these shoes on, and we'll get around there as quickly as possible. Don't know how long I've got. I think tide's down now. This would be almost dead low now. So I've got maybe a couple of hours window, but I don't think I'll have a couple of hours really when uh, by the time the fam's sick of me being gone. So the real trick here is just, you know, get a couple of casts in. I don't know if I'm really going to have time to uh, really put the full effort in that it deserves. All right. And if we get lucky, we get lucky. Let's get these shoes on so we can go fast. That's much better. All right. Let's hurry it along. Yeah, right. I just passed some guys and they just said they did see a few kingies sort of cruising around. They got a couple of nice snapper. Not really targeting snapper, but I wouldn't mind one of those either. 
it's a proper New Zealand one. <laughs> I've uh, definitely struggled to catch some quality New Zealand fish so far. So this is the point obviously where you uh, will be swimming later on. <laughs> if you don't make it in at the right time. But I've only got a limited amount of time so that's alright. Yeah, how awesome is that? So the ledges are starting to get better, you can see the deeper water. I guess just back there where the water's sort of hitting it, that's going to be the bottleneck when the tide starts coming up. <laughs> where you sort of really need to be out of the way. <laughs> oh no, my shoe's coming apart. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a pain. have to tread lightly. <laughs> Uh, that's really annoying. I knew my shoes were old, but now oh, well, what have I got? Maybe I've got something to tie it up. This is getting pretty cool. Alright, well, I told Twine I'd wait. Oh, there's the end of my shoe. <laughs> uh, I held on to here. We've got some kind of coverage here, not much. Oh, well. Yeah, well, that's the end of that. I think we'll just set up here. Alright, just clip this camera on here and just have a couple of casts and see what happens, eh? First cast with the big rod, eh? What kind of drag we got? I just saw something tailing it in then. Let's try and get it out there again. There's definitely fish here. Just saw something chasing it in a bit. change of plan for a little bit we're just going to rip uh, this uh, smaller Rapala just because it's sinking the wind's really making the other uh, bait sort of pop out a lot which I'm not really digging I did get one thing sort of follow it in before I can just blast this out pretty easy so let it sink a little bit and we'll see if we can suss out the area a bit just better check that drag make sure it's not ridiculous yeah. <laughs> if we do hook something up on this thing it be all the more exciting. <laughs> yeah, might as well switch back to the big boy. I've only got a short amount of time. I don't want to be just left there fishing the other one I didn't really want to fish. <laughs> Only a little bit more time to go. And uh, unfortunately, it hasn't happened yet. I'm going to switch over to something a bit more uh, castable and something that I can keep down a bit. The wind's crazy, man. It keeps like making this pop up. That combined with my inexperience, it's proving to be a bit tricky. But, uh, yeah, it's a good looking lure. It's as if I have to sort of, when the waves come in, I have to get it a bit too high, it keeps popping out of the water. So maybe I'll go a smaller one or something that's, um, maybe we'll go something smaller and see if we can just get anything. <laughs> what do we got? Maybe we'll go something with a little diving action for a bit, see what happens. And then I think we might be out of time after that. 
which is disappointing. I might put my bag a little higher. That last wave that came in actually well and truly washed over this area. Lucky my bag was just high enough. this one pretty far as well and we can just slow roll him in a bit and see what happens yeah I don't know if I'm really feeling this lure maybe I'll try something completely different and try the slug eyes two more casts should have brought some water that's what I should have done Car wire something. Yeah, oh, tiny car wire. <laughs> well, we're slowly going through the baits. We're now onto the slug eyes. Geez, I hope something goes off soon. Pretty much at the uh, end of my run, I think. A few more casts and then we'll start making our way back in, unfortunately. So we had a couple of guys at it. I don't think it's gonna happen, but it was cool to still at least have a go. Just that one small follow at the beginning. It's a pity that didn't sort of uh, keep going after it. Would have been something special. Well, I don't think my shoes are going to take much more either. <laughs> Check it out. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm going to start cutting my feet up in a sec if I'm not careful. God, nothing hits that thing. Look at it. Just like slinks through the water. It's a good looking bait. I'll use these more often, that's for sure. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen though. Come on. One sneaky king right at the end. It'd be so good. Jeez, it looks good for the water. It swims nice. Eely looking. These shoes are no good. <laughs> yeah, I'm wishing I had the gloves. Okay. Pretty much just lying flat on my back now. He's gone up quite a bit. So hopefully that'll give me some time. Get some line back on him. Okay. I've got to get in a better spot here. Jeez, he's got some weight on him. Oh, check that there's bloody cameras on this time. Oh, he's heading up that way. Oh. Oh. Woo this is full on, man. Starting to see what the fuss is all about. Oh. What is it going to be? Far out, right, I hope I get it in. My shoes are shit. They're pretty much gone. 
and I'm nowhere near even the, the good part of the fight yet. Oh. Come on, come on this swell, come in on this swell. Oh, this is no good. Just gonna get caught in those weeds or something. Even if I guess get a look at him, I'd be happy. All right, I've got to pump now. While it swells in. All right, I've got color. Oh, I'll stay away from that ledge. Can't really run on the rocks because I've got no shoes. This is a problem. Oh no. I really am in trouble here. Come on, stay up, sir. Come on. Wait for the next swell rod. Cheers, man. Oh, I might do catch and release, actually. Oh. Oh. Uh, what do I, I think do, it's bro? playing. Nah, just hold it and look. Oh, that's a beauty. Thanks to the hell, hey. <laughs> no worries, bro. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I can call it quits now and go home happy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, well. Turns out they are here at Spirits Bay, eh? Far out. So the slow guys in the end, they did it. Cast a couple of things. And look at my shoes. Oh man. Have a go at those. Well, I'm gonna call that a successful trip and go back and spend the rest of the day with the fam. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that, eh?